And with that, it's time to ease off the pace a little as the teams take in a spot of the local scenery en route to the next stage. Slight change in the route for the afternoon loop with Atates replaced by its baby brother, Otatitos, but it's still made up of a daunting 43 kilometers. We haven't seen much of Chris Atkinson since his eventful start to the rally on Friday morning. The Australian's frustrating opening stages with his new team have mercifully been put behind him, though. Running first on the road has meant a difficult, slippery run so far today, but on this second pass, Atkinson can at least begin to enjoy himself out there in the new I-20. Narrow seven right and five left. Opens long deep break. Just ahead of Atkinson on the leaderboard is a man whose target result is very much on course. Local hero Benito Guerra stated before the event he wanted to improve on his eighth place finish from 2013 and is currently running in sixth. The Mexican Tricolor Fiesta looking resplendent. Even the Mexicans, though, need to be on their guard on home soil. Heavy impact, but thankfully, the damage to the door only cosmetic. If that slide had hit a corner of the Fiesta, it could have been a very different story. Oof. Martin Prokop is another privateer who's made a career out of keeping his nose clean and picking up points with consistent error-free drives. A couple of set-up and brake issues aside, it's been another good day in the office for the Czech national team driver. He remains on course for a top-five finish. As does young Welshman Elvin Evans for the first time in his career. The M-Sport man began the day locked in an intriguing battle with Hyundai's Thierry Neuville, but fearful of the same fate that has befallen so many others, common sense has prevailed. Keep right over crest and slight left long, don't cut Titans three sharp, 50 crest, nine right plus. Open. With the suspension under a constant battering, you can see the logic in a cautious approach. Fourth position would do very nicely for the 25 year old as things stand. Cut over bridge, 40, five left sharp, cut, and three right long, 40. Middle of a long crest and flat right. Keep left over seven. Evans, it seems, with a wise head on young shoulders. I think we have to just still do our own thing, obviously, do our best. And uh, if it's good enough, it's good enough. Uh, if not, I'm not prepared to take any more risks to make that happen. Uh, I don't think I've got the experience to do that quite yet, but uh, hopefully it'll happen uh, in the near future. Safety first for Evans, then, while up at the sharp end, it's been another day of domination for the world champion. Sebastian Ogier will know only too well, though, the Mexican Wilds can strike at any moment. That rock could have done some serious damage. Even luck, it would seem, is on Ogier's side. That could so easily have been game over. So the World Champions lead now almost a minute over his teammate. Neville looks increasingly safe in third as Evans says he's not prepared to take any risks. Wise man. Local star Benito Guerra holds on to six despite his close encounter with a tree. Hunted down though by the chasing Atkinson who's a minute behind the Mexican and closing fast. OK, plenty more to come. Next, it's time to hold on tight as we prepare for takeoff at the famous El Brinco jump.
Welcome back to Rally Guanajuato, Mexico. The famous El Brinco jump just moments away. But before that, let's bring you up to speed with the leading support category, the WRC2. And after the mayhem and destruction of the field yesterday, more today. Second overnight, Lorenzo Bertelli's day was over before it had begun. This high-speed crash caught by a nearby fan, and it was game over for the young Italian. As is so often the case here in Mexico, simply avoiding trouble pays dividends. Gianluca Linali's ability to avoid danger sees him in third, just behind fellow Italian Max Rendina. He inherited second yesterday and has maintained that position. Behind this man, Ukrainian Yuri Protisov, some 25 minutes ahead now, he can afford to take a cautious approach tomorrow. Confirmation there. Protasov well on his way to victory here in Mexico. OK, back to the main event. Let's rejoin Paul. One more mountain stage to come in on this third day of Rally Mexico. It's the one we've all been waiting for, as have they. Just eight kilometres long, but El Brinco literally translates as the jump, and we're about to find out why. Mexico's own Benito Guerra is first up and is the man who holds the record over El Brinco's famous kicker. It's estimated he cleared 45 metres 12 months ago. A more sedate approach this year, but with thousands of his compatriots out there on the hill, they will have enjoyed that all the same. Mikko Hirvonen will feel he should have been fighting for a podium place were it not for his frustrating alternator failure the previous afternoon, but he's already back in the points in eight. And a much more enthusiastic showing over the jump from Miko. Let's take another look. Kievan and leaping far and high into the Mexican air. Acrobatic stuff from the M Sport man. It has been by far and away Thierry Neuville's best day in the Hyundai i20. A steady, stealthy approach over Saturday stages has provided the tantalizing possibility of a first podium finish for the South Korean manufacturer. Let's see how the I-20 flies. A clean and tidy leap from Neuville as he inches closer and closer to his and Hyundai's date with destiny. Certainly a strong day for new boys Hyundai, but there has been just no matching the boys in white and blue. The first VW to take on El Brinco's crest, Yari Mati Latvala. Now, Yari opting for his compatriot, Marcus Gronholm's old tactic of a dab on the brakes before the crest. The wheels back on the ground quicker, the Finn is rapidly on his way with the power down. Still spectacular, all the same from Yarrick. Another perfect team performance is on the card for the VW boys. A job well done again for an upbeat Latvala. While the Finn has been the perfect team player on this second day, Sebastian Ogier has simply kept his teammate at arm's length throughout Saturday's stages. Ogier becoming the master of combining breathtaking speed with unerring consistency. <laughs> With every stage win out in the mountings on this third day, the Volkswagen star is another step closer to a second successive Mexico victory. And a chance to see the world champion over the jump. And he certainly doesn't disappoint. The Mexican fans treated to the sight of the number one rally driver in the world flying through the air.
So here's how it stands after the end of day super special stages. Ogier's lead sneaking past the magic minute mark with Neville, Evans and Martin Prokop making up the rest of the top five. Mexico's finest, Guerra, heads into the final overnight break on course for a top six finish. Chris Atkinson also heading for points in seventh. Back at the Leon service park though, it's Atkinson's teammate who can barely contain his excitement. The podium would be very nice. Uh, we didn't expect, so uh, we definitely gonna gonna do our best to keep this position. We have a big gap in front, so we can gain any position. And on the rear, uh, uh, it's uh, nearly one minute as well, so it's quite comfortable. It was a great day. We are very pleased uh, with this one, of course. The target was the, to control the lead today and uh, we even managed to increase a little bit our advance so of course we are very happy, the car worked perfectly and uh, now there's uh, one loop to go and, uh, and the job will be done, that's, that's what we want. We, we came here with a target of victory and uh, uh, now we need to finish the job. Ogier as calm as ever, but his second Mexico victory is not secure just yet. The final day features the ultimate sting in the tail, the Guanaguatito stage, all 56 kilometers of it. Join us for that and much more tomorrow. Thank you.